Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT.Tutorials. I am Josef Botnar and continuing the series of tutorials regard to this project uh, school registration uh, system. This project is done using Visual C Sharp and Microsoft SQL Server. This tutorial has the goal to show you how to create the users table uh, which uh, is uh, linked uh, straight to this uh, form. So all uh, what uh, I'm going to enter or to fill in this form namely register user uh, will be stored in that table uh, namely uh, users uh, table so therefore uh, i'm going to launch uh, management studio uh, management uh, microsoft sql server management studio where we are able to uh, design a table to design uh, certain databases which uh, contains uh, our uh, tables and uh, our databases which are linked uh, to our uh, projects done in uh, Visual C Sharp. So therefore I'm going to click uh, on this button connect and uh, let's uh, look for uh, our database which uh, should be uh, I think it's on school registration uh, let me to have a look on it let's uh, check the tables yeah it is this one certainly yeah so uh, go and select the tables uh, right uh, click with your mouse select new and after table here you go and uh, after all uh, these uh, steps uh, this uh, design uh, will be uh, launched uh, in order to create uh, our table so uh, here i'm going to write the column name the next uh, column is for a data type and uh, the last one is for allow nulls. If I click uh, and I check this uh, square, little square, that means I will allow nulls. If I'm going to uncheck, this means I'm not going to allow nulls for uh, that uh, column for a certain color yeah so let's start and uh, let's write the first uh, color uh, which is going to be user id and i'm going to use uh, the type uh, and var char and the number of the characters i'm going to use the max uh, 50 yeah and i'm not going to allow nulls for this uh, color Another uh, column name is going to be username. Okay. Again, the type uh, and var uh, char 50, the number of the characters. I'm not going to allow nulls for this column uh, too. Password. Yeah. Again, the type uh, is going to be an var char, the number of characters 50. All right, not a null for this column. And the last uh, column is going to be position of the user in a certain company. The type again, an var char, the number of the characters. 50 so not null for this uh, column too all right i'm going to select user id i'm gonna go uh, down here i'm going to select this uh, identity specification and uh, here i'm going to click on this arrow and select is identity and change uh, no with uh, yes okay so here i should go and uh, change uh, the data type uh, which uh, must be in a term in teacher yeah all right and i'm gonna go back here is identity and now select again the column user id and here i'm gonna to change uh, is identity from no to yes and uh, the uh, identity increment one identity sheet one that means uh, this uh, 
column, the content of this column, user ID, will be incremented by 1, and the incrementation will start with uh, 1 because uh, uh, here I set uh, this uh, identity seed uh, with uh, 1. Yeah. So I'm going to set uh, this uh, column, user ID, as a primary key. All right. Okay, I'm going to save uh, this table. TBL users. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's close this. Let's go on tables. Right click. Click on refresh. And let's check here. There you go. This is our tables. Uh, this is our table. Uh, table uh, users. And click uh, on. Uh, select the top 1000 rows and here you go down here you have the columns of this uh, table user id username password and position now this table is empty because i haven't filled in this form namely register user anything so uh, when uh, i'm gonna to fill in that form with uh, users all the data regard to users will appear in this uh, table yeah so uh, that's all for today thank you for watching this video tutorial see you next time bye bye